Okay, so this is the brother uh, BAS326H-44SF with the, with the uh, stepper foot. We're doing a couple of different patterns here, and basically we're going to start off by showing, basically you have, this is a 220 plug, so even though you have a three-phase plug on here, it's only using two legs plus the ground for the uh, 220 single phase. But this, that, that's fine, you can use that, it'll be, it won't give you any problem. That kind of matches up with the systems that are in most of the sewing factories. Then you have the air hook up here. Okay, you'll have to supply a hose like this for this connection. This is what you get with the brother set up here. All right, and when you plug that in, you're gonna get to about uh, 0.5 on that. That's what, all, all that you really need. So basically, What's going to happen here, we're going to power the machine up first. So it powers on, and you're going to see the display come on to place. And what it's going to do, it's going to load up the last pattern that was installed. Now, before we started this video, we changed the clamp on to one of the bigger patterns. So we can have that set up. So basically, we're going to change it to, to the bigger pattern. So by pressing the up key, that's the bigger pattern. And then we're going to load up that pattern. And the way you do that is, while that's blinking, it's, you see that it's blinking, it's not ready to sew yet. But if you look down at the pedal, we have two pedals here. So the first thing you're going to do is step on that position pedal. So again, we stepped on this pedal and it homed its position. This other pedal makes the clamp come down. So you're ready to sew. So now, we're gonna thread this machine up. So the thread's gonna come into here. This section here is a, a thread brake sensor. So when you, when you thread it through, you're gonna have to go in through this little sensor here and you'll see as you go through, the little light's gonna go on and off. So watch how our technician here threads this machine up. goes through that hole that's there. See that little light come on? That's saying that the thread is passing through the sensor. And what that does is when the, the thread should break or if it doesn't sew because the bobbin is out of thread, the machine will stop because it, the thread's not being pulled through. So you need to make sure that gets into that into that sensor. And you got to get something to get in there. Okay, and once you go through, now watch when he watch when he pulls this through. See that light coming? See that light coming on? That's what's going to happen while it's sewn. Let's see, I gotta get a little bit better focus for you here. You're coming through the top. This is only if you're using like a thread lubricant, but in which case we're not. So we don't need to go in there. Make sure you go in between those two discs. And this threading is very similar to every other sewing machine that's out there. Nothing is really special or unusual about this. Through the take-up lever. Down around through here. Now, if you want to thread the machine, there's a button here. See there's a button here to thread? When you do that, you press that the clamp's going to come down and the jump foot, this is the jump foot here. That's going to come down so you can thread the machine. So you go through that top little guide. Okay, and then when you're all set, you can notice when you can when you press that thread uh, threading switch on here 
came up with a whole display of how to do this. And then when you're all set, you can just press that back and the clamp will come up. Now let's go to the actual pattern that, because this, this machine actually will have several different patterns. And this one, the full size one, because here's, this, here's, here's the size of the pattern. Okay? So there's one that's bigger for full length. That's the full one. So let's go back. So now that's blinking so that it's not ready yet. So we make the clamp come down with this, with this pedal. And then this is going to home the machine up. And now it's positioned up and ready to sew. So that's going to make the clamp come down ready to sew. And the other pedal is what's going to start the machine. Looking at your display, that's the sewing speed. You could increase that or decrease that. There's bobbing, winding mode, clamp up and down. You have other different features. But now let's go see about changing patterns. So let's go to the other patterns that are on the screen. That was the full size. So now let's change it. And they give you a little stylus up top here. So you can, a little pencil here. So let's change this. I've got a smaller version. All right, next pattern 04, 104. So again, we're stepping on that pedal, the other pedal, and it's gonna find its home position. other pattern. And again, we're going back to that. So now you've noticed it didn't start that first couple of stitches. So let's let's just run that again, okay? But let's just say you saw that and you, and and you wanted to stop the machine. So if you start it. You're gonna hit the emergency stop button here, all right? And you're gonna get this error. So what'll happen is we're just gonna press the reset button. You heard the mechanism trim, and we want to continue sewing. So You've got an error. Do you want to resume sewing? Yes, to resume sewing. Press no to stop sewing. If we want to resume sewing, we can go, and then we can back up. So the way to back that up, it would be these buttons here. And if you see when I'm pressing that button here, I'm pressing this button, it's going back to where I started, one stitch at a time. So in that case, Rather than ruining this piece that was here, I could back off and then resume sewing. This allows for less effective pieces. One thing we're gonna do, let's go see when we load up a pattern here and we can see, that's, the, that's another pattern. But let's make sure that we have the right clamp on here for this pattern. So what we would do then is press the test button. Okay, and now what happens is when I step on the pedal to make the clamp come down, and I step on the start pedal, 
it's just going to go one stitch at a time. And then I can see that nothing's hitting. If I step on the start pedal and hold it, it'll actually go a little bit faster. You'll see it go, start going faster. No, it's not showing that here. Oh, there, it's the other, you step on the other pedal and it goes faster. And then you can see what the pattern is doing. To make sure that this jump foot is not hitting anywhere and that you have the right clamp for the right pattern. And then we'll just take the test button off so that change color. See when it's on it's going to be blue like that when it's off it's going to be dark like that. Okay. Now we have some other videos that are online that show how to, how to wind the bobbin, so we're not going to get into that here, but that's pretty much what we've got at this point.